Hey, thanks for tuning in for another exciting episode of Your Review Channel. Today we're going to be talking about how to shoot an Orthodox Jewish wedding. Uh, I've been in the video production field for 35 years, now retired, but I have quite a bit of footage and I just want to share my experience with you and my technique and my thoughts on how to film uh, this type of function. And if you've never done one before, I hope this helps you out. If you have any questions or comments regarding this, please feel free to shoot me an email or send me a comment, whatever is easy for you. I do appreciate that. I hope you enjoyed this just quick review of just um, a ceremony, basically what to expect and what it looks like. But before we get into the video, please like, share, and subscribe. You know it does help me out quite a bit, and I do appreciate it, as always. So hit that subscribe button below and you'll be notified for all future videos that are coming out. I'm doing tons on dance schools and bar mitzvahs and bat mitzvahs and funerals and everything I've shot in the last 35 years and whatever I have left from my, my raw footage files that I have quite a bit. I have 10 years worth sitting here on my desk and I'm going to go over them one by one. So please hit that button below. You'll be notified. Let's get to the video right now. Okay, thanks for tuning into this video. I'll say, so this one here is basically a little older video. It's not shot in HD or 4K or anything. It was shot on standard definition back in 2010. That's what I had. But this gives you an idea. Um, so don't judge me by the quality, please. Judge me by the, I guess, by the footage and just the technique and just get, I hope you get some ideas on um, doing an Orthodox Jewish wedding. If you've never done an Orthodox Jewish wedding before, this might give you some insight. This hopefully will help you understand what's going on in the background and understand how to do something like that. So if you want to go shoot something like that, you'll have a little bit of insight, a little bit of knowledge, and maybe what to expect. Um, most typical um, Orthodox Jewish weddings, um, the man and woman do get married together, um, but they do, they do in the beginning, they're separate, and you'll see the beginning how the, the men are all together, the women are together, and basically the man will come down to do an unveiling, as a Titian Bedeckin they call it, and make sure that she is the one who she, he's marrying, just to double check, and then she veils him, they do some prayers, and, and so forth, and then they're going to start the ceremony itself. But you'll see how um, a lot of this is done. Um, men and women are separate in the reception, and they are separated by a machitza, uh, which is basically separates the men and the women. Men on one side, women on the other side. They dance separately. You'll see the interaction, how that works, how it looks. It's very interesting. I really loved and really enjoyed shooting uh, Orthodox Jewish weddings uh, back in my time. I really, really enjoyed it quite a bit. So let's just get to the beginning of this video, and we'll just talk right through it. And then if you have any questions or comments below or something you don't understand, shoot me a question, shoot me an email, subscribe to my channel, and you'll see uh, more footage and more things that we'll be doing in the future. So let's get to the beginning of this video here. So I'll usually start with the beginning of the ceremony. And this is just, just my beauty shots. I put some music in the background and pick some uh, some nice... Uh, you can see the quality's not the best. I do apologize for that. I hope it's not, not that bad, but I know it, <clears throat> it is what it is. So a lot of times I'll get, uh, get the room before the guests um, be seated. So I'm there an hour, hour and a half beforehand. And I'll get a lot of the different shots. And you can see in the background here, that's the uh, machitza, they call it. And that separates the men and the, and the women's side. And so when they dance, you can see that. <clears throat> they have a little cocktail. They have some, some food beforehand. The guests arriving. So it's a little bit different. They have like a cocktail almost like before. Uh, people coming in, they're eating and they're talking. There's some shots of the brides before they get married. So I used to work with the photographers. And then you can get all different shots and just see what's going on in the background. <clears throat> so my style really was just very candid. Either I was doing handheld or I was using a monopod. Uh, real basic uh, point and shoot uh, with a lot of little dramatic shots, some slow motion, some black and white, and just a little bit of just a little bit of everything. I thought it was really nice to get a little bit of, of the of the action behind the scenes, and then they had some candid shots. The photographer would get, and I would get some of that as well. I always had the bride and groom was kiss uh, the mother and father would kiss the bride, and the parents actually both walked the bride down the aisle. That's a little bit different as well in an Orthodox or even a Jewish wedding. So let's fast forward some of this. So let's get to the, so the men and women, they're all kind of mingling, everyone's talking and all the food's out and everything. This is before the ceremony, before everything. This is just a part of the whole ritual. 
it's a very, very happy time, very c celebratory uh, party, everyone's happy, it's a really, really nice thing. And this is all shot with one camera, so this is very, very challenging because you have because you have a men's side with doing the men, the women are doing their thing, so you got to kind of go back and forth. It's very challenging. I do recommend definitely having an assistant for this part. <clears throat> So the bride would mingle and talk to her guests prior to the wedding. And this is very typical for an Orthodox Jewish wedding. So this is where she would be seating with the parents on both sides. And this is where the bride, the groom would come down and just check and make sure that she is who she is before, the, she would, before they would get married. So this is the part with, with all the men together. So what they're doing here is basically going over the contracts, making sure the times are correct, making sure everything is right making sure everything is kosher, they're all eating, they're all enjoying, and this is some dancing afterwards as well, but this is where the rabbis actually really inspect everything and make sure everything is correct, uh, fire at the names, fire at the time, uh, just really all the basic nuances of, of the actual ceremony itself. <clears throat> yeah, so they have to have the certain traditions and certain, um, within the culture, what they want to do, and they're making sure everything is really, really correct. So this is what's going on in the background. So so you know so the rabbis are actually signing everything. The everything is looks good, making sure everything is correct. <clears throat> so I do have a wireless mic on the groom. So there's any so you get into some singing and some chanting, which is really, really nice. And this is very, very typical for an Orthodox Jewish wedding. Any questions or comments, leave below. I'm just going to go through this video and just and just show you. And hopefully you'll get an idea of a little bit of what to expect. So at this point here, so what's happening after he signs it, basically they've technically married before they get married because they both signed the ketubah, which is a, a wedding um Ceremony, a wedding uh, license basically in Hebrew and, and, and so this is a really cool shot I love this part here and then they got the guy the band the clarinet they, they these guys come in from New York and they're awesome bands and so you'll see how they they're walking both fathers are walking the groom down to meet the bride to check and make sure she is who she is which is really kind of cool again one camera very very difficult to shoot So I have to get in front of them before they come down. So it's kind of like I'm moving backwards. I'm holding the camera. Or just this is not an easy task, believe me. <clears throat> again, this is all shot in standard definition. Mini DV at that time. That's what I was shooting again, 2010. This is when this was shot or filmed, as they call it today. We used to call it shooting, but now they call it filming. So this is what I, I was filming, which is cool. So basically they surround the groom, constantly always surrounding the groom, always just walking him to the bride. So it's very difficult to get in to get these shots. And there she is already unveiled. He's checking her and making sure. And the rabbi's discussing with him what to say, the prayers. And he veils her after he inspects. And they're just doing the prayers, and the parents are going in doing the prayers. So it's a very spiritual uh, experience, and the parents are getting involved, and it's really, really a nice feeling. And then they start that dancing. <clears throat> okay, so we'll get to the... So now they all go back upstairs. I had a monopod, so I'd be able to raise up the camera overhead and get some overhead shots. And um, this was very important, especially for doing Orthodox Jewish weddings. You cannot be on a tripod. Things are moving all the time, this way and that way, and one side and the other side. And you know, and there's always kind of special dancing and just kind of, <clears throat> just really all kinds of, all kinds of stuff going on. Then we got some more prayers, some more. So this is where the ceremony would be. 
So in a Jewish ceremony, it's always on the opposite side. So the, the bride is always on the opposite side from a Catholic uh, wedding. So you'll, you'll see um, how this works. So that's the bridesmaids walking down. And you can see I'm always, even like even my Catholic weddings, if you're following along on my series of different videos that I'm, I'm posting, uh, the last one I posted was a Catholic wedding. This one's a Jewish wedding. So the parents walk the bride and the groom down. So the parents are here, walk the groom down. Again, in the middle of the aisle, they expect that. Not a problem. Work with the photographer. Get the front of them. Get the shots. Don't get the sides. It's really important. It's really key. And they, and they walk down the groom. Let me fast forward some of this. There's a lot of music. There's the bridesmaids. And here comes the bride. The bride walked her down, and now the groom will come and meet her. And then take her back under the chuppah. And the chuppah is basically where they get married. The traditional Jewish wedding, couples will get married under the chuppah. And you can see where the chuppah is. So the bride getting ready. And the parents, everybody goes up on the on the bima. That's what they call it. That is basically like the altar or the stage. They call it the bima. <clears throat> and they face the audience in this one. So it was actually an easy shoot. I was on the on the floor. I was able to move around, no problem. Again, not using a monopod and using a camcorder on a monopod. Very easy with a small light if I needed it, and also a wireless microphone. All the all the types of equipment that I did use, I posted below. Of course, the cameras are different today, so I posted a little bit better quality camera, but the lights were the same. Um, wireless microphone was the same. So you can see here the bride is on the left side. So now they're doing the ring ring ceremony they do the ring ceremony a little bit different they do a blessing over the wine they drink some wine Brookline, Massachusetts. And they read the ketubah to the bride and groom. They present it to them. And the bride and groom usually are covered with special prayers. So I'll fast forward a lot of this. So I was actually I was able to really get some good shots here. So right at the end, they they break a glass, uh, and breaking the glass sanctifies the the shattering shat, shattering um, <clears throat> of the glass means they cannot put it back together the same way. So they'll always be unified together. You can see they break the glass. So everyone does a little bit different, you know, the more modern uh, Jewish weddings, they'll say, they'll recite some vows. In the Orthodox uh, Jewish weddings, they don't really do that. At least they didn't. And let's just fast forward some of this. So the congratulations. So this is... There's a lot of motion with this video. I'm sorry, but that's just how it is. If you want to capture things, you just got to move around. And that's the, my, that was my style. My style was really to move around and just capture things as they unfolded. It's just, you know, you had to because you just can't be stagnant on a tripod somewhere in the corner. You'll never get anything. You'll miss everything. And you don't want that. Everyone loves a beer.
So then they're leaving. So hopefully it gives you a little insight of the ceremony. It's 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 sometimes to be pretty quick. This was probably about 35 minutes approximately. And they go back upstairs and they spend time together by themselves for a few minutes before uh, the actual ceremony with the I mean, reception would start. And they close the door and they have some time together. And then we get some beauty shots after the photographer will be doing his formal shots. So I would get a few shots of that right before the ceremony starts. So let's get some shots of this. Again, this is all shot with one camera. So here's the entrance, here's the introduction here. So they always go through like a little tunnel. Ladies and gentlemen. And you'll see when they get introduced, they actually, and just the, and just the bride and groom, not the, no one else, just the bride and groom got introduced in, uh, with this specific uh, wedding. And one went one side, you'll notice, and one went to the other side, you'll notice that. And they go into a huge horror, probably a half hour to 45 minutes seg. This, this one set is that long. This is where the real celebration happens. I mean, this is like this for at least 40, 45 minutes straight. <clears throat> you got the guys on one side, and you got the chitza in the middle, and you got the women on the other side. And everyone's dancing and partying and having a great time. So this is where the mono part and the handheld and the tripod really comes in. You can see the photographer in front of mine getting underneath, and that's what you gotta do. Sometimes you just gotta, you know, sneak in there and you gotta get you can't be afraid to get in the middle of the you gotta get whacked, you gotta get banged and pushed. It doesn't matter. It's all about the footage, right? You wanna get that awesome shot. So you wanna get in there sometimes. But when it's like this in the beginning, I kinda stand outside a little bit and wait till it calms down just a little bit, then I'll get inside. So don't forget now you got the women on the other side doing their thing too. So you gotta kinda if you're doing a single shot, a single camera, which is very difficult, you got to move back and forth. I always start with the men because they seem a little bit, a little more crazy. And then I just sweep over to the women's side. The women's a little bit more casual, a little bit more, just more. They're not spinning around going crazy yet. They're just really just going around. This is a very typical Orthodox Jewish wedding. This is what you can expect when you're shooting this. Um, I definitely recommend getting two cameras if you can. A lot more editing, so I always edit to shoot, and then it's pretty much was easier for me in the back end to just put it all together. Hopefully I'm not going too fast for you and you can see what's going on here. So you get the idea, right? The women on one side, men on the other side. A lot of crazy, cool dancing. So we'll get to some of uh, the fun stuff. If this is pretty much what it is. So the groom typically will sit. He'll be a little tired and they'll dance around him. They'll dance for him. That's how they uh, celebrate in the celebration of his, of his wedding. And they're dancing for him, performing for him. There's the rabbi dancing. This is a big honor. So you can see how I am actually in front of them. And they bring a lot of the young boys uh, would come over from the yeshiva and they would actually join a lot of these celebrations and really make a big, big party, big mitzvah. So you can see there's a lot of dancing, a lot of things going on. The girls are doing the same thing, but not as crazy. A little bit more refined, a little bit not, not as crazy whatsoever. <clears throat> the men definitely seem to be more uh, 
more aggressive in their dancing, which is kind of cool. I mean, I've seen everything from tumble salts and, and pyramids and you name it, they've done it. It's a lot of fun. So I hope I'm giving you a good insight on what to expect when you do an Orthodox Jewish wedding. Again, recommend two cameras if you can do it. Again, I was doing one camera. And you can see how difficult it is to go back and forth constantly, you know what I mean? So you could do a lot of cutaways if you had two cameras going. You could just go back and forth, pop back and forth. It'd be a lot easier. But the package they chose at the time, when I was doing a lot of different packages, this is what they wanted. Single camera coverage. So I had to work twice as hard. I mean, I don't think they really missed anything. I mean, they've been pretty much going around in a circle and dancing for like 45 minutes, so, you know, they just try to get the best of it. And it's okay to go through women's stuff. So if, if you're a guy, if you're a, a man, uh, you can go over to the woman's side. You can do that, no problem. If you're a woman, you can go over to the man's side. That's not a problem. Don't feel like you can't. You can. Um, it, that's, if it's not your religion, it's not your culture, even if it is, it's okay. You're doing a job. This is different. You can definitely do this. Not a problem. I've gone to the women's side many times. So they do raise the bride and groom uh, in celebratory in a celebratory way is the the raiser above you know, raise, and usually they'll raise him as well and sometimes they'll try to you know uh, connect and, and over, over the machita and it does happen sometimes and I get all I mean I just shoot straight this is just you know straight straight through and you can see they're just dancing constantly dancing I would say definitely this is not as elegant as some of the new way, the new technique today with the filming. Um, I do get that, you know what I mean? But I mean, if you want to shoot this type of stuff and you and you want to be in, in the middle of the action, you got to move around. And you can't be afraid. That's one thing about the, the event videography. You know, if you're going to start a business and if you're going to do this, you can't be afraid. You got to get in there. And, and, and they love it. I mean, every, everyone, believe me, after a few drinks, doesn't matter. Everyone loves to be videotaped. It doesn't matter. Again, this was a Canon. I uh, was shooting with a, cam a Canon uh, DV uh, camera at the time. Again, three chip broadcast. Everything was the highest quality at that time. I mean, this was a, a very good camera. I love this camera. Let's see here. It does seem to go on and on, as you can see. So here, yeah, at one point they were together, which is kind of nice. Doesn't happen very often, but they did. They did be able to sit together. They wanted to be together a little bit, which is fine. There we go. <laughs> this is a real cell. You can see how long it goes. It just goes on and on. And on. So it, this is what to expect. Make sure you understand. Make sure you have enough media. Make sure your batteries are charged. Make sure your lights fully powered make sure you are aware of this this is the longest part of this of this wedding this is like 45 minutes straight through non-stop the band did not stop i think they're getting kind of pooped at this point the groom is dancing for the bride. Again, another honor. And then you had the parents dance. Again, this is a little bit more, a little bit more civil, a little bit more quiet. And they can dance together. It's not a problem. Not a lot of frills, just a lot of dancing, a lot of alcohol, and a lot of really... Really good party. It was really, really nice. Let me get some table shots. 
And back in the day, that's what we did do. So I'm not sure a lot of times they don't do that today. Uh, but a photographer did table shots, I would go around and just get some shots. This is how I did it. I know it's old school. I get it. But that's nice. And get some more table shots. I think it's nice to get involved with the table shots. You really get to see your guests and everybody. You know, a lot of times you don't see them. You know, everybody's cutting everything out to a 30-minute edit and two-minute edit, and then, and then it's just like there's just nothing there. So I think it's nice to have it. Let's call the you know the, the long format. Let's just shoot some shots, and, and it's nice to see everybody. And then you get some speeches, and you know how that goes. And um, then you do use, I do use a shotgun microphone for the rest of this. So everything here is just all on the camera. I use a shotgun microphone. No frills. I don't go crazy with all, you know, I didn't wire up the, the band or the DJ. I didn't use a separate audio track, which you can. I think it's cool. I think it's a good idea. But I didn't do that. At that time, it really wasn't feasible as much. And then it wasn't really in the budget for them. Again, that this the boys from the yeshiva were dancing, having a good time. <clears throat> you know, and again, you look back at this and you're gonna say, oh, "This is really nice because you get to see all your friends and how you, you know what your wedding was like and the tables and it's just it's really nice a little bit of, just to look at everything and to see how things were." So the idea behind this this tutorials that I'm doing and I'm teaching or whatever you want to, you know, refer this to or you know, this is pretty much I want to teach you what to expect if you haven't done an Orthodox Jewish wedding or if you're interested in getting into the, into the video field. It's a great, um, uh, it's a great party. I mean, people love having videos and it's still, it's or filmed, whatever you want to call it. It's just, it's going to last, it'll be forever and people really enjoy it. And here's the orchestra. And they come in from, the, most of these guys come in from New York. You can see they have no problem being videotaped. Right in front of them, you're shooting everything. They have no problem whatsoever. Don't feel like you can't be in the shot and you get, in, you get involved because it's really, that's what it's all about. All right, so it's more dancing. So you get the idea. Okay, so. And that's pretty much how it was. Pretty much all night. Just a lot of... <laughs> they're bringing them over. Dancing all around. So let's see what we got. I think that's about. Let's see what else. Here we go. You can see the guys were really much more, much more enthusiastic than the girls were. No question about it. So they didn't do a, um, a last dance. We just pretty much, they just waved and I just had them wave and say goodbye. And that was pretty much it. So that's pretty much how this video ended. It was kind of a little bit different uh, than typical, but you know, this is how I did it. And at the end, I would just put like congratulations and mazel tov and things like that. So I hope this gives you some insight or a bird's eye view of an Orthodox uh, Jewish wedding, what to expect. Um, Every Jewish wedding is a little bit different. The more religious, the little bit different they are. You know, a little bit more, uh, a lot more religion involved. More of the of the of the history of, of Judaism. So when you when you see this and you and you and you live it, it's kind of cool. It's kind of different, right? If you do, an, I've done Orthodox Greek weddings and I've done Portuguese weddings and I've done all kinds of weddings. So everybody has their own thing, you know. And it's and part of part of our job as uh, videographers or film people or whatever you want to call it today is basically to to capture, you know. Uh, everything as it unfolds in a documentary style. Um, I don't believe in, you know, staging. I don't believe in, you know, I mean, a little bit of staging, a little bit of coaxing to get the right shot, but not overdoing it and not, you know what I mean? It just looks too fake. It just, if it looks too Hollywood, it looks too Hollywood. That's just how I felt about it. And I think that's, this this looks great. You know, it comes across, the, the, the video is great. It gives a lot of good footage there. I think it's probably two hours, which I know is way too long for today. I know guys, 
don't 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 beat me up. I get it. I know it's a lot, but this is what we did um, back in the day. <clears throat> even back even before then, we used to do three and four hour videos. You know, finished videos. So this is what this is. Um, with with these types of weddings, it's hard to cut them down because there's a lot of dance and there's a lot of everything. So this is a little snippet. I know this one a little bit long. I do apologize for that. Um, I've been doing other things as well coming up. I have um, some a lot of parties coming up with bar mitzvahs and bat mitzvahs and how I shot them and you know the working with DJs and working with photographers and again function places. So let's hit that uh, subscribe button below, uh, and you'll be notified um, when the next video comes out. And hope you enjoy this one. I appreciate it so much. Thank you for tuning in to your review channel. You make it a great day, and I appreciate your time.